So we've just completed activity one, tasks one and two of uh, the Minecraft Python lesson five. So much to intro here uh, that I'm going to forget to introduce myself. So hi, everyone. I'm Kathy Chow Isaacs. You can find me on Twitter at I Wear the Crowns. And um, I'm working through the Python lessons in Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, right now I'm on lesson five, which has to do with coding the agent and loops. We've just completed the first task and we're ready to go, or activity, and we're ready to go to activity two. So um, I gotta get back in, I gotta get back into Minecraft. I'm pressing W to move forward. I'm in activity two and I'm gonna chat with this tester. Oh, I didn't even look. This person is a tester. Hello. Um, tester needs our help. I've been testing the agent and I have found that it spins, if it spins left 20 times, that's when the clothes get clean. Oh my goodness. However, I can't get the program to work. Could you write some code that will make the agent go into the machine, spin around left 20 times, and then go out? Okay. Let's see. So we have two parts to this coding activity. Oh my goodness, and that, oh, I forgot what that is. Um, soul stone on the bottom. So it looks like that's what's making the water uh, appear to be going up or down or bubbling or something. Okay, there is an outfit. <laughs> All right, I am cracking up. So there's an outfit. It looks like there's gonna be some repeat code from last time, right? We might have to collect an item here. Uh, we're definitely gonna be walking right into that um, block of water. Uh, yeah, so let's just see what happens. That's so interesting. I wonder if the pressure plate prevents the water from flowing. That That's really, really cool. I'm gonna have to try that when um, I'm not coding. So I'm gonna go ahead and press C to code a solution. That's gonna launch the code builder. Oh, you know, the other thing that I want to mention is that if you do, let's say your students are working on this code and um, and they run out of time, right? Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to speedy quick, um, just highlight or select all of your code, copy and paste it somewhere else, especially if they've kind of worked. I mean, it, it, you know, if it doesn't matter and they can start from scratch, that's fine too. But like, um, yeah, I lost some code earlier because it doesn't save here, which is very big bummer. Okay. So anyway, I digress. Let's come back here and say, okay, part one, write some code so the agent will pick up the dirty laundry, move forward into the machine, spin left 20 times, and then get out of the machine to place the clean laundry on the other side of where the dirty laundry was. Okay, so we have some a snippet of code that's provided. Um, it's saying part one is agent collect all. Oh, see, part loop number two, what? Loop number two set to three. All right, so loop... Number one, make the agent turn left. So this is what's happening. The agent is collecting the dirty laundry, moving forward seven, and then it's going to drop it into the water. So loop number one, let's make the agent turn 20 times. So we're going to go to, I'm going to, I'm keeping the code. Remember hashtags, comment that line of code or that line. So the computer does not recognize it as code. I'm going to go to the agent. Oh, so I'm going to have, oh, I'm going to have the agent move in this direction and I'm going to change forward to left. Okay. And I'm going to have the agent move. Oh no, this is a move left, not a turn left. Okay. So wait, move left. That's not really going to work. Oh, we don't have that. Okay. So maybe we're going to say agent turn. Let's see if that's, oh, it is. So I'm using the auto, okay, so we had to take this whole code out. This is too much. So I'm gonna say agent. And then uh, remember from lesson, I wanna say it was lesson three where we started using methods. Maybe it was lesson four, no, four was, method. anyway. One of the prior lessons we used methods. So I'm gonna say agent dot to bring up the different methods. And notice that we have agent turn. Okay, so agent turn is our option or our method, and we want the agent to turn left. So notice that it's turn direction, which direction left. Okay, and we need to have the agent do this 20 times. So again, we're gonna go up to our loops. 
I'm going to go ahead and hit enter so that there's a nice clear line for the loop to go on. Okay, so I'm dragging the for loop and the pass is what we want inside the loop. So I'm going to uh, delete that and delete and put the agent turn inside of there. So now for I in range, we know that last time the default, well, the default is always four, but last time uh, we had the agent um, move the barrels four times, right? So now we need to change that range from four to 20, right? Because we want the agent to turn 20 times. Okay, and then that's the end of the loop. Uh, we want the agent to collect all. Okay, so after the 20, turn, 20 turns left to clean the clothes, we're going to have the agent uh, collect all. Okay, and that's actually a code we could have dra uh, dragged over from the agent drawer, but um, we even see it up there. We could copy and paste it over, but um, I'm, using ty I'm typing and I'm using the auto-suggest. Okay, and then I'm gonna have the agent move back. Okay, so we need the agent to go all the way back to the beginning where it picked up the dirty laundry, I guess. So this'll be agent.move, okay. And the default, I just hit a tab to make the um, auto complete, the suggestion complete, um, complete. <laughs> and I'm gonna say back, cause I remember that from last time. And we gotta go back seven because going back one will stay on the path. And then uh, the last thing for part one is to uh, make the agent drop everything to the left. So agent drop all. So here, let's do this. Agent drop all, I'm gonna highlight that line of code. I could also triple click, okay, and copy. And then I'm gonna come down to line 16 or whichever line you ha you happen to be on. That won't necessarily match what I'm on. So drop all and it's saying drop everything to the left. Okay, we'll see if that, okay, left. And um, it looks like we're good. So let's go ahead and hit play to compile the code and test it out. Oh, I can't wait to watch. Oh my gosh, that's so fast. Ah! Is there clean clothes? Over here? No, no clean clothes. Where's the outfit? I'm going to go over here and step on this. Oh, I can't. I can't. It's only for the agent. So no clean clothes. I am going to need to find that scientist to try again. Okay, so try again. Okay, so there's the dirty clothes. Uh, okay, and I'm going to watch this. Okay, collect all, forward, drop to the left, the agent's left. All right. Oh, you know what I should check? The agent has some, oh no, I have to start it over. Okay, so we'll just run this code. We'll hit play to try it again, and we'll watch. Oh, the, it's in there. Oh, there's a clean close. Oh, it worked. Hooray. <laughs> that was awesome. Now we have to go to part two. All right, so um, we've moved over to part two, and let's go ahead and hit next and see what we have to do. Uh, part two, edit the same code. So the agent does the same three thing, but for three loads of laundry. So we need a for loop before all the other codes. So, all right, well, we can do that. We did that just before. So now um, I'm going to go up to the part two. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to put a for loop on that line. And then for this pass, I'm going to go ahead and take everything that we um, already coded. And I'm going to um, indent that. I'm going to delete this line, backspace, delete. And then I'm going to change that range to three loads of laundry, right? Move back three loads of laundry. So this should be just like or very similar to um, the, ta the first activity. Let's go ahead and try this. Let's hit play. Okay, let's watch. Oh my goodness, this is hysterical. Oh my goodness. Oh, but it didn't do it. All right, so we're gonna need a little, what else? Pick up the code, it just did it once. Range in three. I range 20, is there something that, maybe we have to make this indent also i don't know let's try that again let's see if we hopefully oh nope it says no okay so i'm gonna um control z to undo all right so it needs to be here it can't be too far in there i wonder oh no hmm 
range. So it did that. Oh, three 